So a century ago, or a century and a half ago, a leader, entrepreneur, or an innovator created a company. And they needed managers to run those companies. If you look at the educational system here and in Europe, it's predominantly geared towards management. And so that's why organizations are overmanaged and underled. I'm not saying that we need to be overled and undermanaged either. Now, management and leadership are different, but not for the reasons that most people think. Leadership is not mysterious or mystical. It's not the province of a chosen few. It has nothing to do with charisma or some exotic personality trait. Leadership isn't better than management, nor is it a substitute for it. But to move through change, we need to have the emphasis poured out towards leadership. It's paramount. So what is leadership? Well, leadership is vision and strategy. It's communicating vision and strategy. It's motivating action. It's getting buy-in. It's removing barriers. It's taking complex systems and people and creating innovation, opportunities, and growth. What's management? Management is taking complex systems and people and making things run efficiently and effectively hour after hour, day after day. Catch this. Here we go. Management's defense. Leadership is playing offense. Management. It's about avoiding hazards. Leadership it's seizing opportunities. Management, it's about who and how. Leadership, it's about what and why. Management, it's about what you know already. Leadership, it's about where you want to go. Management, guess what? It's taking complexity, making it simple. Leadership, it's leading change. It's hugely different. And the reality is most organizations can't handle leading change. They can't move through change. They can't implement their strategies. They can't fight off the competition. They can't stay ahead of the competition because they're stuck in management. And what we need to do is take this teeter-totter and level the thing out with leadership. Leadership is the name of the game. 